Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you'll see me organize my refrigerator. You guys really seem to enjoy the last video that I did when I was organizing my refrigerator, so I thought I would do an updated version. If you like to see organization videos, please subscribe to my channel. That's kind of some of the content that I like to put out there. So if you guys are subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up, I know that this is what you like to see and I can keep putting this type of content for you guys to watch. So first thing I'm going to show you what the refrigerator looked like before. As you can see, there really is no sense of organization at all. It's pretty well stocked. We had just gotten back from the grocery store, but because it wasn't really organized before, we just kind of threw everything in the refrigerator while we were emptying the groceries and it just kind of stayed that way. I recommend before going to the grocery store, clean out your refrigerator, get all the leftovers out, get anything that has expired or that has gone bad and clean out your refrigerator or even do a deep clean if you need to. That way when you go to the grocery store and it's time to unload the groceries, you spend half the time putting groceries away and it just makes things stay organized much longer. So the first thing you see me do is just get out all the produce and I'm gonna clean and wash them and put them in separate containers. I like to do this because in our family they're more likely to get eaten when they're clean and put away and they're ready to go. It's just something that you can quickly grab and it's obviously a much healthier option than going to the pantry for a bag of chips. So this is the container that I like to store my produce in. I like it because it has holes for ventilation. Um, you can either pull the tabs on the side open or you can take the bottom tray completely out. There's a diagram on the top of the container that lets you know what type of produce needs what type of ventilation. And I think it really does help keep my produce last much, much longer than normal. I got it from Aldi last year, so it's not something I can link down below, but I'll try to find something similar on Amazon to link.
So now you see me taking everything out of the side door of the refrigerator and as I'm doing this I'm looking at the expiration date to see if it's expired. I'm also just paying attention to if it's something that we use often or if it's something I can just go ahead and pitch. I like to do the refrigerator one section at a time that way not everything is sitting out on the counter getting bad over this period of time that it takes me to clean the refrigerator out. So I thought I could avoid doing like a true deep cleaning of the refrigerator and just kind of wipe everything down with a wet rag and soap. But there was one section that had really tough stains on it that I couldn't get out. So you see me just kind of say screw it and I just took all of the shelving out and just really did a deep clean of them all. And I actually had forgotten that I can take the shelving out and it worked out because I just kind of rearranged them a little bit and made the heights different so I can put different condiments on different shelving and I think the way that I did it in the end works out much better than the way it was before. So just a few minutes ago you heard me say that I like to work in sections when I'm cleaning the refrigerator. That way the foods aren't sitting out on the counter for a really long period of time depending on how long it takes me to clean. Well because I decided to take the shelving out and do a deep clean, I decided that it was just easier to take everything out of the refrigerator, do a really good wipe down deep clean of the entire refrigerator and then quickly put everything back. I normally would want to do sections and I wish I would have planned this a little better and I could have done that but just for the sake of this video I just kind of did it all at once but I do definitely recommend do it in sections so the food doesn't go bad on the counter if it's sitting out for a very long time. So on my last refrigerator organization video, I had a ton of questions on what type of fridge I had. It's a Samsung and they actually don't sell this specific model anymore, but I'll leave a link down below on something that's pretty similar. I'm not really sure why they discontinued this refrigerator, um, but you know, they come out with new things all the time. So I'll just go ahead and link something very similar to this one.
So this is the part where things start to stress me out, where everything is just thrown everywhere in the kitchen. So I start to organize based on things that are already in its place. So you'll see me kind of move those out of the way and then work on the things that need to be in a container. So on the side of the refrigerator, it's such a narrow space that I really have to be creative on what I store here. So obviously I'm putting the condiments back on the side of the door. I like keeping the condiments here because we have a lot of them and it just looks really cluttered when they're in the main part of the fridge. And then on the other side of the door, I like to store like our butter and sauces and stuff like that just because they're also an awkward shape and it can really just make the refrigerator look really unorganized. So towards the end of the video, you'll see that my refrigerator actually has a separate compartment drawer that I usually like to store um, drinks in there. And I'll usually put all of the drinks in there. So my son's juice boxes would usually go in there. However, he's getting taller now and he can open the door and grab a juice box himself. So now that's why you see me storing these on the inside of the refrigerator versus our beverage area, just because he can reach it and get a juice box whenever he likes. So this is one of my favorite parts of doing any type of organization is putting the items in its separate containers. I just like trialing out, seeing what fits where, and it's just like a really good satisfying feeling when you're all done and everything has a place. And then this part is obviously the next best thing about doing an organization video is actually putting things away and then see how it looks in the end. So this part you'll see me kind of put things away and then rearrange it and put it in a different spot and you just have to do this. You just have to see where it goes, where it fits best. So you'll see me move things around a lot during this part.
this part you see me labeling all of the containers and I'm using this Sharpie paint marker and it's washable with just water and I like to write on these containers. I mean you can obviously see that this container is for grapes but I just think writing on the bins just make it seem much more organized and I just like the look. I'll also down below leave the link for this marker if you guys are interested. So this is the part earlier in the video where I mentioned that I have a separate drawer that I like to keep beverages in. And I like to do this especially when people come over just so all the beverages are in the refrigerator that's in the kitchen and they don't have to go out to the garage every time they get something to drink. It's just easier access when it's here in the house. Okay, so here is what the refrigerator looks like in the end. You can tell it looks really nice and organized. You can see where everything has a place. I like how all the containers are labeled. Like I said, it might be silly for some people, but I just like the way it looks in the refrigerator when you open the doors and everything is nicely labeled. So again, like I mentioned before, I will link down below the marker that I used to write on the containers. I'll also leave a link down below for the containers that I used for the produce. Like I said, they were from Aldi, so I can't list the specific ones, but I did find something very similar on Amazon, which might actually be better quality. So I'll leave those down below if you guys are interested. I really recommend containers like these. It really helps keep our produce lasting fresh for a really long time. So I'm also showing you what I have in the back of the refrigerator. I like to keep my leftovers in the back. I mean, it's fine. We eat our leftovers. They don't go forgotten when they're in the back of the refrigerator. So it, it works for me, but it might not work for everybody. I also like to keep our meat in the back of the refrigerator, the, the raw meat, and you wanna make sure that you keep it on the bottom shelf. So if there were any juices that were to drop, it's not gonna be dropping all over everything in the refrigerator if it's you know on the top shelf. So you wanna keep that on the bottom. and this is the end of the video so as always don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me organize my refrigerator also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more content out there with organization I really like to organize so if you guys like to watch me organize I would love to put more content out there 